A film in three minutes, shorts. Distant voices, still lives. Terence Davis is arguably the best living director in British cinema. His work is a combination of biography and fantasy, revealing to us the inner depths of his turbulent upbringing in working class Liverpool, with a visual style and editing approach like no other. His 1988 film Distant Voices Still Lives is the second chapter in his biographical film trilogy, and the film itself is actually a joining of two shorter films shot over a period of two years. The first part, Distant Voices, follows the struggles each character endures at the hands of a horrifically abusive father played magnificently by Pete Postlethwaite. The second part, Still Lives, is free of the tyranny Postlethwaite's character inflicted, but instead there's a deep sense of melancholy surrounding the world that Davis has constructed. We see relationships become frayed, happy marriages, communal singing at the local pub, the entire gamut of day-to-day -day activities ordinary people once did, leaving us as the viewer haunted by the power of the director's memory and the images he has chosen to best represent it.